What if I were to tell you right now, I know which team is the NBA's next dynasty? You'd probably have some doubts and I'd say fair. But what I'd also say is that the NBA has 75 years of history. And by using that history, along with the stats of the dynasties we've watched dominate over the years, we can figure out which young team in the current NBA has the best chance of becoming a future dynasty. This video is not about a one title run. It is about dynasties. And as they say, history repeats itself. And in the NBA's 75 years of history, we certainly can find patterns. We can look back at the best teams to ever play and identify what made them great. What made young potential, such as the Steph Curry-led Warriors, into a fulfilled multi-championship run? Is the answer to get a Victor Wembenyama and then just figure it out? Or are the Oklahoma City Thunder following the blueprint with an established all-star in Shea Gilgis Alexander, along with two potential stars in Josh Giddy and Chet Holmgren? The Pelicans with Zion could be there if he stays healthy. Or how about the Houston Rockets, who have secretly stockpiled talent with number two picks Jalen Green to go along with a freakish prospect in a men Thompson along with the vastly underrated Alfred Sengun. The Cavs might have four all-stars in their starting lineup if Evan Mobley continues to develop. Cade Cunningham and Paulo Bancaro have been dominant as young franchise stars. The NBA is in a great place with young talent, that is for sure. We know the Denver Nuggets are already the top dogs right now. We know they are the one team that is set up to be a dynasty if they continue to win. But looking down the line, which younger team in the NBA is set up a lot better than everyone else. After the current Nuggets, Suns, Lakers, and Warriors age out of the NBA, which team is up next? Trust me when I say there is an answer, but the question of course is, who is it? Well, what's up guys, Mike here, and again, I understand. The claim of knowing who will be the NBA's next dynasty is a large one. But like I said before, history does repeat itself, and when we look back at the best teams to ever play, we find there is both a clear blueprint for building a dynasty as well as stats that indicate big success is coming. In this video, we are looking at younger teams, which means any player mentioned will have been 24 years or younger according to basketball reference last season, which is perfect as that is right around the year where many players take the leap. So who is the best young team in the NBA? Well, in order to find that answer, we have to look back at the six only dynasties that have existed in the NBA post-merger. The Warriors with Curry, the Spurs with Duncan, the Lakers with Shaq and Kobe, the Bulls with Jordan, the Lakers with Magic, and the Celtics with Bird. Those are the only six teams post-merger to have won three championships together, but more importantly, we're all led by star players who were drafted by their original franchise. Basketball may be a team game, but dynasties are built on the backs of individual stars. It is that simple. All six of the dynasties that have popped up post-merger have had franchise stars that stayed together. But guys, before we continue, I am very excited to thank our friends at DraftKings for sponsoring today's video. Because as we all know, it is the best time of the year, I think. Basketball is back, and that means, of course, course, DraftKings has us covered. All new customers who bet $5 will get $200 in bonus bets instantly, instantly. And going even further, you can use those bonus bets on a chance at same game parlays to get an even bigger payout. And if sports betting is still not available in your state, do not worry. You can still join in on all the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy, where you're going to have a shot to win cash prizes. So make sure to go download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers, again, bet just $5 on any wager and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That is personally what I'll say, just an incredible deal. That's promo code Corzemba only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Again, thank you to DraftKings for sponsoring today's video. And for now, let's get back into the video. Whether it was one megastar such as Tim Duncan with two other consistent Hall of Famers and Tony Parker and Manu Ginobili, or Bird with Mikhail and Parrish, or Magic with Kareem and James Worthy, or Steph with Clay and Draymond, there is certainly an easiest blueprint for a dynasty in the NBA, and that is landing a megastar who will never leave you, along with two Hall of Famers who will never leave you. I do say that is the easiest blueprint for a dynasty, as it has never massively failed. The much harder blueprint comes in the form of two megastars. The two-star approach appears to be a 50-50 approach, as Mike and Scotty worked very well and never did not work. However, Kobe and Shaq infamously split apart, which means in our search for the NBA's next dynasty, we do 
have an overarching theme. We cannot look at team stats. We have to look at which team has the right star or stars to build around. Going even further here, no dynasty in post-merger history has not had their two star players in place by the younger one's rookie season. So while the Lakers did not draft Shaq by Kobe's rookie season, both Shaq and Kobe were on the Lakers. That applies to all six of the dynasties that we have. So if we are going off of history, the next dynasty we are about to watch is already at least partially assembled. Now with that in mind, that does mean we do need to work with stats here in order to get an accurate comparison. So that means rookies such as Wemby and Scoot Henderson and the Thompson twins just can't be taken into account as individual stars. Trust me, I believe in Wemby. However, we need concrete proof and that comes in the form of win shares, box score plus minus, and VORP. This trio of advanced stats truly shows us which players completely differentiate themselves at a young age, which means when we compare our 11 candidates, the 11 players who have a chance to lead a franchise to at least three titles, one thing is immediately clear, there really are levels to this. Luka fits the bill easily here, but he is on a horrible roster. If anything, he would be the type of player that one of these other teams with a young star would bring in as the final overpowered piece. The Cavs certainly have a very promising young duo in Darius Garland and Evan Mobley. Garland has already been an all-star and Donovan Mitchell and Jarrett Allen on that roster are also all-stars. The thing is, when it comes to a young superstar though, Garland and Mobley don't cut it. Neither has been exceptional in box score plus minus, which is very important to note as win shares can become a bit inflated from simply playing on a great team. Then we have Zion Williamson. And if you believe in the Zion comeback, I'm hopeful for him. Regardless, his box score plus minus just does not indicate the same type of star we need for a dynasty run. Same goes for Team USA legend Anthony Edwards. Unfortunately, right now, he just does not stand out in box score plus minus either. Cade Cunningham did miss almost 70 games last season, so it's hard to rank him. Same goes with Paulo and Jalen Green. At times, we have to remember that Larry Bird was a 23-year-old rookie. We are not playing in a world of hypotheticals, though, which means we are left with three real answers and my own personal wild card. At the age of 24 last season, Shea Gilgis Alexander did prove he is capable of being that guy. At least in the regular season, when we look at the advanced numbers, Shays do line up with the best in NBA history. When you add in the fact that he has either Josh Giddy or Chet Holmgren to grow into a secondary star already on his roster, along with even more young talents such as Jalen Williams and Lou Dort, the Thunder are certainly in the conversation here for the NBA's next dynasty. When you add in all of the first round picks they still own, it is clear they have a trade package that is going to be incredible to throw at someone if they believe the time is right, if they believe they can compete for a title. I do not believe that will happen this year. OKC does have an incredibly scary long-term roster though. With that said, here's the thing. John Morant's 2023 stats don't look like he's an all-time star. However, his 2022 stats do. And sure, John Morant has had controversies. We know that. We also know that as these controversies swirled around him, Ja did not flee to Oregon or Aura gone. Instead, last year in the playoffs, Ja still had a game where he scored 45 points. I'm sure his head was not in the right place during that game. So sure, we have to ask if Ja can be a leader Memphis can build around. If he does does find that path though. This is a Memphis team with a potential megastar alongside the perfect partner, a defensive player of the year big man in Jaron Jackson Jr. who does not demand the ball. And then to complete the roster construction here, to match John Morant's inside driving play, the Grizzlies have a 25 year old sharp shooting Desmond Bain who averaged over 20 points per game last season. If Ja continues to get better in this league like he was doing every year before last season, it could be the Grizzlies. But as for my number one, one pick. Let's talk about Jason Tatum. Are the Thunder the fun pick? Yes. But the Celtics are certainly the top pick. Last year as a 24 year old, Tatum proved that he is a historic talent. As going even further, Jason Tatum has been named first team all NBA the last two seasons. It is my belief that we are all too close to Jason Tatum. We have seen him fail in front of our eyes a bunch, which has made us cynical. It's almost like it gets forgotten that Jason Tatum was the best player on an NBA finals championship loser 
yes, but we've seen every single one of the greatest players to ever live take devastating losses only to bounce back from them. That's how they've learned. Jordan versus the Pistons, Kobe airballing four times versus the Jazz, LeBron getting blown out by the big three Celtics to end his first run in Cleveland. It's almost a rite of passage in the NBA to struggle and then succeed at the highest level. And so while the Thunder do have the picks to hypothetically trade for more talent, and while the Grizzlies have the roster in place, as well as Ja Morant hypothetically plays up to his potential, only one team in the NBA is filled with certainties. The team that was already led by a young superstar, along with another player who has never left in Jalen Brown, and then Drew Holiday and Kristaps Porzingis to help round out this big four Boston Celtics roster. The final order here has to be Celtics number one, Thunder number two, Grizzlies number three, and my own personal wild card, the Rockets at number four. I do believe if the Rockets put it together with Jalen Green, or Amen Thompson, and Alfred Singoon, again, that's my wild card. Personally, I love that young team. I think they have a real chance. Again, this video has been about who can be a dynasty. Three titles or more. The Celtics are my ultimate answer. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications. That way you never miss another video. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for supporting. You're awesome. We all know it. And as always, have an awesome day and cue that music. If you're still here while the music is cued, here are two videos I think you are definitely going to enjoy. I mean, personally, I think the one on the left might be more your style, but the one on the right looks pretty awesome too. Click one, let me know what you think. And again, have an awesome day.